going on guys welcome back to an episode of garage edition it's cold out here got a weather uh, jacket um, today we will be working on super m not colossus but the super m now i said in one of my vlogs that i had to take my hids out because i had to get a sticker because well it was le it, illegal in our state and they won't give you a sticker well i went ahead and took them out and i thought about it I was like i never showed a video well I actually i've had these for about three years that's before i even had a youtube channel so these lights my hids i think they're eight thousand soft white i think i think that's what they're called um i ordered them it was actually a funny story i was looking on ebay and a guy was selling them for thirty dollars for my 99 ram and i was like that's not bad so and he said make offer so i was like oh screw it so i offered 15 for because i figured you know what we took them so i bought these and they've been last for three years um when you start them up it did come with a little box i will show you the box and i'm going to show you the box that came with these and the plug-in style so they match and i'm going to show you how somebody rigged the Colossus ones to work. So I'm going to show you which ones that actually should be on a truck and which ones that were rigged. So I'll show you the proper installation of them. So let's get started. All right, I'm going to show you basically, if I can get my camera down there and show you, here is the Dodge lights. The HID kit is right here. It's already been plugged up here's my box it's called Zentech so what you want to do is you take you got your little clamp right here now these are aftermarket headlights uh, I only have the one headlight versus the two bulb one so we want to turn our clamp a little bit and our headlights will come right off just like so so what we want to do is we want to cl clamp this blue clamp don't break it or anything Ugh. try to do it with one hand <laughs> hang on all right so that is done basically as you see it just plugs in now my HID box has a plug-in for it. So basically you take the HID box. I'm trying to do this one hand so I apologize. Basically <laughs> try to get it in the hole. <laughs> uh, there we go. Clipped it in. Now these two are live. Basically in my high beam one I actually taped up and tucked down in there because I only have low beam with these HIDs. You do the high it automatically knocks them off but I don't care because these lights are bright enough. So now we're going to get our bulb out and we're going to hook it up. Actually I'm going to show you. You see how this is clipped right here and it's all done and it looks great and it's how it's supposed to be. I'm going to show you how Colossus is. They didn't have this plug in so basically they tapped into the wire here which I mean I guess you could do but it's not the professional Zach way. So I'm going to show you how they did. They spliced it. And one day one of my lights wouldn't work. So I looked under and it wasn't connected. I had to connect it. So I'll order one of these connectors eventually for it. But I want to show you how this is. This is actually easier to work on. Because if you look at the height comparison. I can just go through here. Alright. If you see in here. You can see what they did. They taped off this. I actually taped this off. Because that wasn't even taped off. I'm like well stuff's going to get up in there. So I taped this off. And right here is where they splice the wires into. Because their box, which is right there, um, didn't have the right one. So it tells me that the box was not specially ordered for the truck. Now you can do this. I'm, I, I don't recommend it. I recommend you get to one for the truck. Because when you do stuff like that, just like it stopped working. So one headlight was out. That was like, that's automatically a ticket or if you can get out of it, whatever. But it's just... Just order the right parts for your truck. Don't take other stuff because you probably had this laying around and then they order the bulbs, whatever. Just take your time and order the right thing for your truck. That was $15 for my 99 Dodge Ram. That connector will work on this too, so I'm going to look and see if I can actually buy a connector that goes in right. So, good. Do it right. Don't do it. 
do it right. <laughs> Don't do it. So I just want to show you that. Now, if you're just like this, I'm not saying that, oh, it's terrible. You this, this, this. It just, it's, I, it would get on my nerves. No, it ain't right. So I'm just showing you what not to do. All right, these are HIDs I've had for three years, and they are still working. You just got to be good to them, be gentle to them. So we're going to switch these out with my HIDs because I feel like if you have HIDs, it just makes the vehicle look more up-to-date and fancy. So Now I hope the camera is pointing at the right angle because, well, it's hard to hold with one hand, and I need both hands for this. So basically... We want to take your light off. This is our old light. Just got to remember how to cut it off. All right, there we go. And we want to put it on our new light, which these lights are a whole lot easier to do than my old style. So basically, it holds it like this. All right, basically all you do is just put your light in there first. It's got your O-ring. You slide in there. Take your, cir uh, your circle uh, clip ring. Put it on there and have a certain teeth. And then just twist and it locks into place. And it won't come out. Then you just want to match your wire color. Red goes to red. Black goes to blue. <laughs> Make sure you get them in there good. They are waterproof. Uh, connections so just make sure they're connected good and I always tuck mine down in there real good all right so we're good so let's try our lights and see if it works all right guys so we got the headlights installed this side is basically just like the other side just a simple installation didn't take five minutes now I will tell you when I put this on I try I was gonna get a comparison and the other one would this wouldn't turn on I'm like oh no it's blue I just jinx myself no you have to have both of them on apparently it'll sort have a short and it'll show it um that was a kitty you just didn't go by <laughs> um so there you have to have both of them so both of them are working we've got the hids back these are like i said i think they're the soft blue or something um 8000k didn't cost me but 15 dollars. probably be more now because you want to buy stuff people oh how much is it? and price changes all the time but this is just a quick little uh install video of the hids uh when i get new ones for the big one because i want to fix that little plug i'll do another video of it because like i said we're not doing nothing to colossus until unless it's on film but this is super ram super ram <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you punch that subscribe button and hit the like button because I just got a cool box in for Colossus that we will be installing maybe this weekend. Not really going. If you watched the vlog today, um, well, today I don't know when the video is going to be up. If you watched the vlog, if you watch the vlogs, you know exactly what I ordered because I did unboxing on there. If not, you have to wait until the video comes out. Make sure you. Just go ahead and punch that subscribe button because we do all kind of videos. Fiberglassing, metal. I'm not a pro, but daggone, I try to I take pride in doing my stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is George, and I'm out of here.